Hey everyone, I'm Natasha and today I'm showing you how to make this super beautiful but also really easy single straw eyelash lay. To make your one straw lay, of course you will need a straw, a really large straw like a milkshake straw, bubble tea straw works best. If you don't have one of those, the next best thing is a McDonald's straw. They tend to be the biggest. You're also going to need at least 50 yards of eyelash yarn. If you're in the islands, of course, Ben Franklin, Longs even during graduation season, they have lots and lots of options. On the mainland, of course, Hobby Lobby, um, Michaels, sometimes even Walmart. And of course, you can always look online. And for these lay, something with a medium or really long lash looks great. Uh, you can also use two colors, but I got this multicolor yarn um, that's gonna look so pretty as a lay. And again, make sure you have at least 50 yards. You are gonna use at least 50 yards to make a lay. Trust me, I know it seems like a lot, but it's true. Uh, then you will need ribbon. You can use a normal satin ribbon, but if you use the Go Green with the little ridges, it helps it stay tied better. You can use whatever size fits in your straw. This is a 3 8 inch. That's a good size for your ribbon. You're going to need um, at least four feet minimum of your ribbon. You'll also need a piece of tape, scissors, and either a clothespin or a binder clip. All right, so let's get started. So to begin with, take your ribbon um, and get at least four feet of it. You can always trim off extra, but you can't put extra back on. Okay, so I got my ribbon, and what you wanna do next is thread your ribbon through your straw. So you need to make sure you have ribbon that will fit in your straw. So just thread it through. Come over a little bit, grab a piece of tape, and just tape it down. It's just going to hold it in place there. Then come to the other end and place your clothespin or your binder clip to keep all the yarn from falling off. So then your, scar your skein sorry, of yarn, if you haven't already pulled that paper band off, pull it off. Figure out where your yarn starts. Some come from the outside, some come from the inside. I've already pulled off a little bit here to make it easier to demonstrate. Then you're going to tie off your yarn around your ribbon. Don't tie it so tight that it can't move. It needs to be able to move, uh, but don't make it like super saggy baggy either. So just right. So I'm gonna tie a little knot here just to keep it in place. And that can move, okay, that's great. And then, this is so simple guys. All you do is wrap the yarn around the straw. Now it's really important that you don't wrap super duper tight because then the lay, it's not gonna look as nice. You want to be a little bit loose, not like, you know, not like that either, not giant loops hanging down. See how that is? That's also not right. It needs to be just enough. And then when your straw gets full, I thought it was making it easier. <laughs> when your straw gets full, you're going to push the loops off the bottom, but keep a couple loops still on the straw like that. If they all come off, it's not a big deal. Just push a couple back on there. And then keep doing this. Again, not super duper tight. It's tempting to go really tight. Make nice, big, easy loops and just push off like that. And that's all you do. This lay is so easy to make a bunch of, like if you need to make them for a whole class or a sports team, you can just sit down with some Netflix or you know whatever it is you want to watch and just crank out a bunch of them. Just make sure you don't get excited and go too tight or else your lay is not going to look as good. It's not going to be as fluffy. And then that's all you do. You just keep wrap, wrap, wrapping and pushing off until you have however much you want for your lay. So don't push it all the way down. Make sure to keep a few wraps there on the straw and just keep going until it is as long as you want and as full as you want. And you're gonna be surprised by how fast you go through this yarn. So I'm gonna keep wrapping and I'll meet you back here in just a minute. These are super quick uh, to show you how to finish off your lay.
Right, so once you reach the end of your yarn, then your lay is finished. Or if this part here is about a yard long, or if you're looking to make it shorter, like for a child, uh, whenever you reach that stopping point, if you do have to cut the yarn, go ahead and cut it, but you're probably gonna use the whole skein. So make your final wraps if you need to, slide it off, and then you're going to tie a knot. And it's safer to do it before undoing the straw, but it's easier if you go ahead and undo the straw. So just peel up your piece of tape, take the straw off, and then tie a knot between your ribbon and your yarn to hold everything in place. And you do this however works for you. Um, just make sure that this doesn't come undone. Now, um, all that you need to do is secure the ends of the ribbon. A lot of times people like to put a kukui knot here. That looks really great. I don't have any kukui knots right now, but you can slide a bead, particularly a kukui knot, uh, here on the ends of your ribbons. So you can pretend I have beads on there if you want to, and then you just tie it up. Um, I should trim that off, but you can wrap them into the ends if you want to. Uh, so then just tie a knot. That's the simplest thing to do, just a knot and snip your ends. You can also tie a bow if you want to. There's a little bow, nice and easy. You can even make a big bow and tie it in place on there. Uh, whatever you do, make sure to trim up your ends so they're nice and even. And you may want to take a lighter and carefully singe the ends to keep them from fraying. It'll make that lay last a whole lot longer. So here is your finished lay. I really hope that you enjoyed this project. Please check down below for more lay tutorials. I have lots of ribbon lay tutorials and I'll be adding more yarn tutorials soon.